storm damage confirmed in Tuscaloosa, Moundville. Here is the latest of severe storms move over West Alabama and the rest of the state Wednesday evening. In an effort to keep locals abreast of severe weather and other emergency scenarios, Tuscaloosa County EMA offers a free service called Tuscalert. This free service allows the user to select the weather alerts they are interested in, with time-sensitive notifications sent by text, email, and or phone call. The city of Tuscaloosa said it has activated Incident Command Level 2 and its tornado shelters will open at 10 a.m. DCH Health System also amended its previous announcement for its coronavirus vaccination site, which will now close at 10 a.m. today 9.30 a.m., the National Weather Service. Forecast office in Birmingham is currently predicting impacts to begin for Tuscaloosa beginning around 1 p.m. 2 p.m. The area has also been placed under a rare high-risk classification, meaning violent long-track tornadoes. Damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour and tennis ball size hail will be possible 10:30 a.m. Tuscaloosa County EMA recommends storm shelters across the county open to allow preparation time for those in need of shelter 11. 30 a.m., a Torado watch has been issued for Tuscaloosa County and the surrounding area until 7 p.m. by the National Weather Service. The NWS also says Tuscaloosa can expect impacts from this storm beginning around 1 p.m. and lasting until approximately 2 a.m. Thursday morning 1 p.m. A Torado warning has been issued for parts of Green and Sumter counties until 2 p.m., but does not directly apply to the cities of Livingston or York. This worn storm is currently tracking east toward the area between Forkland and Amopolis 1.15 p.m. ABC 33-40 Chief Meteorologist James Spann said on air that he had received reports of tornado sirens going off in Tuscaloosa, but assured residents it was likely due to a malfunction as the current tornado worn storms are south of Tuscaloosa. Torado Watch remains in effect until 7 p.m. 1.30 p.m. As storms move through, meteorologists are warning motorists to stay off of U.S. Highway 43 between Utah and Forkland. One storm report filed with the NOAA Storm Prediction Center said dime-size hail, with some up to the size of a quarter, near the Lamar County Airport. Just prior, another report said 20 to 30 trees had been blown down and minor structural damage from a possible tornado near Highway 17 and Walker Road 1.40 p.m. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for northwest Tuscaloosa County until 2.30 p.m. as it approaches northeast from Johnston Lake in Pickens County 7 miles southeast of Carrollton. One of the areas that could see potential impacts from this storm could be the Brownville community of Tuscaloosa County. Residents of Gardo are also being cautioned to seek shelter as the storm has the potential to intensify quickly 1.45 p.m. Tuscaloosa County EMA provided an update after sirens were set off in one part of the county. Officials said the sirens were activated to warn southern Tuscaloosa County residents of approaching bad weather entering from Greene County. EMA then said the issue will be addressed to prevent false alarms from happening again in the future 1.50 p.m. A Torado warning has been issued along the Tombigee River, which includes the cities of Demopolis and Greensboro. Residents are advised to seek shelter immediately 2.20 p.m. A Torado warning has been issued for Tuscaloosa County and the University of Alabama campus until 3 p.m. The storm is approaching from U.S. Highway 69 in Moundville. The warning includes the entire city of Tuscaloosa. Other locations included in the warning are, Colling, University Mall, McFarland Mall, Shelton State Community College, the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater, Bryant-Denny Stadium, Englewood, Little Sandy, Maxwell, Taylorville, Hull, Mound State Park, Stillman College, Duncanville and Palmore Park 2.35 p.m. Damage has been reported on the Hale and Tuscaloosa County line near Moundville. One storm spotter report showed roof damage just off of Highway 69 as police are currently on scene. A storm damage report filed with the NOAA Storm Prediction Center confirms the roof damage on both sides of the county line, with several businesses damaged in Moundville 2. 45 p.m., NWS has confirmed a large and extremely dangerous tornado was spotted near the Shelton State Campus roughly 9 miles south of Tuscaloosa, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. The Torado warning for south-central Tuscaloosa County remains in effect 3.25 p.m., NWS has extended its Torado warning for Tuscaloosa County until 4.15 p.m. to now include Northport, Holt, Lakeview, Brookwood, Bull City, Abernant, McFarland Mall, Shelton State, Tuscaloosa Regional Airport, Deer Lake Creek Campgrounds, Bank Headlock and Dam, Wildwood, Lake Tuscaloosa, Cottondale and Peterson 4. 
8.30 p.m., some damage has been reported in Tuscaloosa and Hale counties during the first round of severe weather, as more is expected later today. Emergency officials and meteorologists caution that more severe weather is on its way and it will be important to not let your guard down. Extensive tree damage and some structure damage was confirmed to patch on Rossa Road in Tuscaloosa County, while the first damage report filed with the NOAA Storm Prediction Center for Tuscaloosa County reports damage in the Wildwood community. One source confirmed to patch that there was roughly a mile of tree damage visible in the area and shared an anecdote saying his aunt fled her mobile home as the storm hit and reportedly held onto a tree as it passed over, didn't have a scratch on her, he said, 4.40 p.m., at the time of this report, there were five, 125 Tuscaloosa County residents without power following the first line of storms moving through the area, Tuscaloosa, AL, Tuscaloosa County and the rest of West Alabama can expect strong thunderstorms to roll in this afternoon and through the evening hours, bringing the potential to spawn tornadoes, strong winds, damaging hail and flooding.